Hey everybody, I've got number 570 ready to show. This is the first production order for um, a customer of one of our new soprano ukuleles. Um, and it's, it turned out really nice. I've been playing and studying all my old vintage instruments recently and like, you know, really taking notes on what works and what doesn't and what's worth keeping and what needs to be more my style. And uh, this is, soprano is kind of part of that process. So um, yeah, I think this one uh, I really like the sound on it, and um, uh, obviously it's easy to play. And I think the aesthetic of it is just the right mix of like elegant and folk art. Because um, a lot of these old instruments that I'm really enamored by are very clearly handmade. Um, they are not made by CNC machines. And uh, so yeah, I want to do my best woodworking, but I also want to embrace um, the rustic side of these instruments. So anyway, this one's for Claudia. Um, the top and back are some beautiful curly koa that were orphan slices left over from Maya Moe. And I paired it with some straight grain stuff for the sides and we wrapped it up with rope binding. Kind of an, a, definitely an old traditional look. Um, walnut fretboard head plate and bridge. And the head plate's kind of a little burl. Looks really nice. And then the neck is a five piece neck with walnut and uh, cedar and fur. And the cedar and fur are just cut off scraps from um, the yurt my son and I built in the backyard last year. It's got a little nail hole there to fill, um, but I like it. And yeah, obviously uh, very lightweight, easy to play, but it does have geared tuners, radius fretboard, bone nut and saddle, uh, comfortable action. Um, Yeah, it's going, it's going good. I hope that uh, more of you want these this in this next year. I think it's a fun project to work on. So yeah, that's Claudia's Coa Soprano ukulele, uh, ready to go. Cheers.